Oh my god, my eyes up here. Just kidding. I never say that. Okay, who wants to see my boob? Ta da! Ha, got you. As most of you realize, of course, I have implants. Well, tech is tech and silicone is tech. So today we are going to take a look at what I've been carrying around for five years and talk about why I have to get my arguments swapped out. The first thing you'll notice is I've only got one implant here, but two boobs. That's because one ruptured. Scary, right? Yeah, the doctor said it was all gross and slimy when they removed it, so they have to throw it away. That's why I have to get a surgery. One had been looking a bit off for a while and the local doctor thought it was ruptured. What with being defounded and they were platformed so many times in the past years, I wasn't in a position to have them fixed until recently. While the implants are made with a cohesive silicone gel that does not leak out, it's definitely not good for you. So I'm glad to have them out and a new saline pair in. Let's take a look. There are a few implants on the market with RFID tags. These are one of them. We can see the implant's specifications molded into the shell. It's a Thai 354 4800. That's, there's the mentor logo, the size 800 cc's, and the serial number, which I suppose could potentially dox me, so I'm going to cover part of that up. The surface has a sort of rough texture. There's no valve or anything like that. They stay the size they come in. My new saline ones have a valve, so there's a little flexibility in size when they're installed. You can adjust the size after they're put in though. But there are some kinds of implants that let you do that. If we look up the catalog number, we can see their Siltex round breast implants High profile, cohesive one, breast implants come in a lot of shapes. It might surprise you to know that most of them are not actually designed to look very natural. If you want a more natural look, you can get something small in a teardrop shape. But as odd as it sounds, a lot of people prefer a more cartoonish look and purchase hemispherical high profile implants like mine. See. You can see the high profile silhouette from the side. So if you're one of those people who say, I don't like them because they look fake, I've got bad news. Lots of us buy them specifically to look fake. There's no deception. We are not trying to fool anyone or pretend they're natural usually. Tattoos and piercings don't look natural either. It's just that person's preferred body decoration. You don't like it, don't get it yourself. As you can see, they're fairly soft. But even if looking didn't tell you that they're fake, one poke would. They feel completely different from wheel boobs made of fat. And they move around differently also. Like video games boobs. Better or worse is a matter of personal taste, but certainly different. My rupture is really very odd. Here, look. They're really tough. Female MMA fighters get them and get punched and kicked in the boobs with no issue. I don't do any sports and can't think of them even getting a hot burn bump the last few years. So it's a complete mystery what could have happened. My new implants are saline, a bit larger. The old silicone gel were 800 cc's and new ones are 1200 cc's. Fun fact, I now have the largest implants in China. I've never had any back or neck issues with the old ones over the past 5 years. And I spent all day hunt over a keyboard or a workbench. We'll have to see how the new ones do. Anyway, I put a lot of thought into it. Even 800 cc's was a huge issue and very hard for many people to accept. Most people who knew I was getting my implants fixed wanted me to go the same size or smaller. So this might hurt my channel. Huge fake boobs are 
pretty off-putting to a lot of people, but they aren't to me. They are fun and make me happy. I have friends who get top surgery to remove the breast entirely so they can look more boyish. It's like that for me, only the other way. Even though I'm cis female, born a girl, I've had some experiences that made looking more feminine very important to me enough to make some significant sacrifices for it. Trust me, it's not for work or dudes or anything like that. I don't think going so large is helpful for work. Even with 800 cc's, it's not like they will ever let someone like me do tech on the Discovery Channel or anything like that. My personal appearance was always a choice that closed certain mainstream doors to me. I'm 25 now, and I can accept that better than I could at 21. When women in tech groups say they should not be judged by their appearance, they mean women like them, not women like me. I understand that now and I can live with it. Given the choice time and again, I've decided that looking the way that makes me happy is more important than looking the way other people think is acceptable. My perfect role model will always be Dolly Parton. Dolly has the breasts she wants, jokes about them and benefits from them without letting them define her or outshine her other features. She's so incredibly competent that no one ever says, boy, I love Dolly's music. I just can't get past those boobs. It would be ridiculous. So my task is to get that good at what I do. If looking the way I want means I have to work harder, become more competent than if I have looked the way people expect a tech girl to look, well, challenge accepted. So the final question is, are implants safe? No, of course not. Nothing is safe. Eating certain foods, rock climbing, compact sports, adventure travel, all have significant health risks, long and short term. And everyone minimizes their own risks and thinks the risks everyone else is taking is ridiculous. For me, I carefully evaluate the risks Meta studies with significant p-values not sponsored by manufacturers are best. But anecdotes, social media posts, and TV news specials are for idiots. Risk is math. Do the math as objectively as you can, look carefully for your own confirmation bias, and decide if your risk is worth it for you. If it's not, the decent thing to do is respect that other people might feel otherwise. I've done my homework and continue to stay up to date on new studies. I feel that there is a risk, but just like some people love lots of yummy bacon and sausage or getting punched repeatedly in the head for sport, risk is a very personal choice that we should respect even if it doesn't appeal to us. Okay, that's the old boobs. These are the new ones. Please don't give me a hard time about it. The tech on my channel always comes first for those of you who are only interested in that. That's it for today. A big thanks to everyone who chipped in to help pay to get the leggy ones out. I'll still be paying them off for a while, but every little bit helps. If you can help support this channel, thank you so much. If you can, that's okay too. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, and post my content any place you think people will like it. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.